you guys, FSC Speed Shop. You're not gonna believe this, you're gonna swear I'm clickbaiting, but we're gonna take Orwell on an airport. Well, we're gonna deliver a truck on an airport, and like, for real, airport, planes, patrol tower, Orwell, stay tuned. Okay, boys and girls, so rather than drive through at night when there's no traffic, we get to drive in the daytime when there is. With a wide load fire truck.
That's my gate brakes. High stage, low stage, off. I typically keep them off if I'm gonna do a lot of shifting so I don't accidentally burp them while I'm in between gears. I mean, I can shift with the jakes, but it's smoother without. There's no hills, there's no need for it. And of course, I have pneumatic wipers. I'm tired of hearing that.
big old muffler up in there crazy exhaust system god knows what kind of engine that is Damn hole again. <sighs> Guess just like the other trucks. Ignition on. That shit usually beeps at you forever in a day. I guess not on this model. Wipers. I guess I'm not the only one with triple wipers. So comment if you think those are cooler. Shut up. Release the brake. Put in reverse. Drive straight back. Back is down. in a mile truck. Now I can get these without laying on the flat and wet ground. That opens. Screw it. Man, that's a narrow door. Say what? Back then. Oh, you want it back then? I guess the only way to open the windows. I guess it'll be easier to back it in actually only because I can see both sides in the mirror and you guys got the view off the passenger side on that GoPro mounted right there on the window GoPro don't stick out wider than the mirrors do so should be all right coming on three cameras I wish I had known I'd have put the trailer somewhere else. That's alright. Ain't nothing but a thing. Ain't nothing but a thing. All oh, this ear piercing beep is annoying. I see the guy back there trying to guide me. That's a waste of time. I 
think I'm not back in the trailer. That's a tight door. Yeah. All right. Now you're standing. Whoever's gonna guide me back here when to stop? You're standing in the dark. So if that mirror isn't in the building, I can't see you, and I can't open the window. I don't know how to open it. So we're gonna have to figure something out there. Open, I'll tell you what, open this door and have somebody tell me when to stop by relaying to the next guy. No, the guy in the front. In I won't time. see him standing back there. No, no, no. Tommy in the front, I told Tommy. Right. That's it. Right, you relay. Oh, it'll fit. Yeah? Tight. Tight a little right? bit. Yeah, next you need a new garage door. Then you're going to need a... Next, see, next you need a bigger garage. Yeah. Then you can need a bigger truck. Yeah. Then an even bigger garage. You see, this escalates. You got that gro uh, GoPro attached yep. to the outdoor, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Of course I do. I need paid for this. Stay on the line, he says. I have no idea what these units cost, but they ain't cheap. It's like getting my Peterbilt in the shop. I'm watching white shirt there. You guys want me to at least show you how to like turn it on and yeah. get it in gear and all? Yeah. That beeping has to do with that water system over there on that screen. Go ahead and sit down. So I have no idea why it beeps at you. So it's real simple. Because they're all empty. That's right. Why. Okay. So what you do, it's just, it's a two, there's two pedals underneath there, fuel and a brake. Break. Yep, so you don't gotta really you don't gotta move it anywhere, but yeah. first things first, it's it's on now, so to shut it off, you put it over to here. You can throw it to the left. That's off. So to restart it, just center the switch again. And then hold it over like you would your an old an old school key. That's it. To move it anywhere if you were going to, step on the brake. Now bear in mind it's air brake, so you can have that lag. Push your parking brake release, and then you put it in reverse or drive, depending on what you need it. Yeah. And if you just hit in R or D, the newer semi trucks are the exact same way. If you just put it in D, it'll do all the shifting for you. Yeah, yeah. There's a way to manually do it, but yeah. I drive an old school, so I don't mess with that crap. Yeah. So for me to move it, I just do exactly as that. Just put reverse or drive, yeah. and then set your brake to park it. Now nah, that puppy ain't moving at all and then shut it off and your main battery kill is in the back 
on the right side. What's that? See, I'm for the D. Easy, easy. Yep, just push them in. Yeah, you supposed to put this middle that way? I don't know. They, I, when I haul them, we just push them in, and then when I unload them, we take them out. Honestly, I usually never. I, this is the first time after like 14 years of ever having a back one in in a building, and never one this tight. This <laughs> all I. The problem is to fold them in to back them in. You can't see. See, you put it this in this little angle, and you yep. put it this stripe. The the middle coming inside three four inch. Hey, more, if that's more easy for parking. If that's a mod you guys want to do, that ain't me. The truck has a backup camera in the back. Well, if it does, I'm not turn it on. Yeah. I just use my mirrors. I mean, no, my no, that's, you know, my eighty four doesn't even think of backup cameras. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if there's a way to turn it on, I have no idea. Beautiful. See the camera? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I mean, once we go over uh, the features and shit, you know. But, um, All I could tell you too is don't hit these. Some of these trucks, they'll ship them with a cover on there, and I whack my shoulder on them on tying it. Yeah. You'll know it. Yeah, right. There. That's like a razor's edge right there. Very nice setup, bro. Yeah, God forbid something ever happens to one of these, I'd like to not have to buy one. Yeah. Well, but if I buy one, I'm taking it to Whistling Diesel's place, so we're gonna trash the hell out of it. Well, thank you. They, oh, I gotta get paperwork signed. That's in my truck. So what are you gonna do with the old one? You don't get a free of stuff around here. We're keeping it. Chicken butter. I'm for you. I make a nice parade truck, if anything else. Who's signing for it? That guy right there. I'll sign it. You gotta... Bottom of each one, please. The little one and the big one. So question for you. I know who Sikorsky is, or rather was. Who's Stephen Ford? He was our last superintendent. Okay. He passed. Uh, a few years ago, three or four years ago. Okay, I noticed his name was on the old truck yeah. too. Yeah. Now here's a dumb trivia question because I don't know. Was Sikorsky from this area? Because I thought he was from he was overseas. From, I mean Russia. That's what I was thinking, but... <laughs> but yeah, he did test at like actually the Kondak River is right here. Okay. Army engine plant. Right. Like flying boats and everything over there, and did you know some of your craft made their way over on this side? Of it. Oh, sweet! There was nothing you know around here back then. Yeah, it gets confusing for people around here because there's supports the aircraft corporation, right? You know, anywhere down is cool. See, it's it a little confusing. We have no affiliation with them. That's your pen, sweet. All right, well, you guys have a good wet rest of your rainy day. Thanks. Hey. You can play with your new truck. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, guys.